hello everyone happy new week to you all welcome welcome i'm still in the safe house so please <laughs> i have to make use of what i have for now so welcome 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 to another edition of absolute of realities and happy new week to you all today is monday for eight and today's topic is your exalted place in him your exalted place in him so before we start this beautiful morning let's pray together father we thank you we honor you we glorify your holy name we thank you for your blessings we thank you for your mercies upon our lives we thank you for the gift of life we are not taking it for granted thank you father for your word that we're about to receive this morning father Thank you, because we know that your word always produces the results it talks about. As we meditate on your word, we thank you for understanding of your word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How are you all doing, guys? Welcome to the topic is your exalted place in him. Colossians 1 verse 15 says, Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? Oftentimes, some Christians describe their encounter with demons and how they are often oppressed by the powers of darkness. To such folks, the question that often comes to my mind is, who is Jesus? Didn't he give us the power over devils? The Bible says we have been delivered, transferred, and translated from the jurisdiction of darkness into the kingdom of God's love son. That is your current place of do domicile. You are far above principalities and powers, vitally and effectively superior to Satan and demons of hell. Jesus said in Luke 10 verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the powers of enemy, and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Until and unless this becomes your present hour consciousness, perception and outlook on life you will live a life that is far lower than your calling in christ here's something i did many years ago that i recommend you you do for yourself get notepad or diary and write as a title why i have the power over devil then get into the bible and write out every scripture you can find about jesus who he is and who you are in him you will be amazed and inspired by what you discover about Jesus Christ, the power is giving you, and your exalted place in Him. You are in Him, inseparable, one with Him, as He is, so are you in this world. 1 John 4, 17 How is He? He is the efficiency of the Father's glory. He is glory personified. Who is He? He Himself, God. Where is He? He is at the place of highest honor and supreme authority in the heavenly realm. Exalted as first above every ruler, authority, government, and realm of power in existence. He is gloriously enthroned over every name that is ever praised. Not only in this age, but in the age that is coming. Ephesians 1.21 the, the most Entrolling part of it all is that you are in him, gloriously and true with him, and exalted, far above every ruler, authority, government, and realm of power in existence. Bless be God. Praise the Lord. Who you are exalted, placed, you're exalted, placed in him. Praise the Lord. Pastor is helping us uh, to understand this morning our authority in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. And truly, if you study the Bible, as Pastor said, I'm going to do this. What Pastor just referred us, he said, take a note and pad and study the Bible and get to know the power and authority you have in Christ Jesus. Get to know who Jesus is, write it down. And then, when you're faced with trials, you will know that you have overcome by the blood of the Lamb. You have the authority in the name of Jesus. He has given you the right to use His name. Yes, and every Demons, they fear that name. Everything, sickness, yes, every tribulation, trials you're going through, they, they submit to that name. So all you have to do, use that name, use the authority by your faith. And I'm telling you, all will be well. Praise the Lord. Because you have the authority. That is your ATM card. Use it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confessions together. 
I live in the kingdom of God's love, son. That is the realm into which I was born. A realm of glory beyond time and space. The realm of the miraculous. I refuse to con condescend to the earthly level of life or reasoning. I rule over demons and circumstances, dominating this physical world with the principle of our heavenly kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. What a wonderful confession. For further study, you can look at Colossians 1 verse 12 to 13, Ephesians 1 verse 21 to 23, and Ephesians 2 verse 6. One your Bible reading plan, Matthew 21 verse 1 to 32, and Exodus 18 to 19. Two year Bible reading plan, Matthew 11 verse 1 to 10, and Genesis 38. So at your leisure time, please go through the scriptures. And you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. What a time we have this morning. You exercise your authority in Christ Jesus. It's very, very important that you know your place in this world. You know the authority you have and use it to your advantage. Hallelujah. So I trust we have been blessed by today's devotion. And I want to use this opportunity. If you're here, you've not given your life to Christ. What are you waiting for? All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God. I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible. Get to know God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. And bombard yourself with faith-filled messages such like this. Hallelujah. It will help you with your journey. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Have you subscribed to my channel? Please do so on your notification bell so that anytime I upload a video like this, you will be first to notify because this is very important for us to start our day with the word of God and every other thing will be added unto you. Oh, what a glorious time we had this morning. So before we go to brothers and sisters, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We thank you for your word that we have received this morning. Indeed, we are blessed and we acquire wisdom from your word. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this week you have ushered us into. Yes, Father, all things are working together for our good because we love you. Thank you, Father, because you have given us virtue over this world and the system. You have given us virtue over Satan and his court. Thank you because we know that we have overcame by the blood of the Lamb. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys. You have a fabulous day. I'll see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.